You called it in a recent story in the News and Observer that Andrew Carter wrote. You called your relationship with Dean Smith one of the hidden things in the history of our league. Right. I'm wondering if you could expound on this camaraderie and also expound on your relationship with Dean. I don't know if envy is the right word, but you know, like you wanted a, he was the guy and that was the program. I mean, Dean was one of the great coaches of any sport of all time and he built a program that was built to last. During that time, coaches were not paid what they're paid today. Uh, every coach who was coaching did it because they loved the game. They loved working with those kids, the relationships. So there was a, uh, and the ACC, we, we functioned to help the conference in how we scheduled, how we, it, there was a sense of teamwork while we're being competitive. Jim Valvano, who passed away 30 years ago, in the last four months of his life, we spent three nights a week together in Duke Hospital. We were like brothers. Kremens and I are best friends. Terry Holland just passed, but with, he and his wife Ann were great friends with me and my wife. It wasn't just the coaches, it was the wives. ACC meetings, you had fun together. You got to know one another. Uh, today's day, it's very territorial. Uh, there's not the collective camaraderie. There's, I, I, I don't think there's any camaraderie, to be quite frank with you. With Dean, once we started winning at that level, that national championship level, I, I understood him better because I was experiencing it. And we, we became friends. And my wife and Linnea became good, good friends. Not that we went out to eat together or whatever, but there was a mutual respect. We became friends. And uh, with the so-called rivalry with Duke and Carolina, you know, you're never supposed to, you're supposed to, I hate the word hate, but I can, that's one word that I can hate. And people see that, but uh, yeah, I, I've loved Dean Smith and respected the heck out of him. And Roy Williams and I developed a, a a, gr a great relationship. So again, he was more old school too, because he was an assistant for, for Dean, and he, he he started coaching the same way, then achieved a you know an amazing level of success. He too is one of the great coaches of all time. It's fascinating the parallels between you and Dean Smith. North Carolina fans didn't believe in him. In his early yeah, times, yeah, you're right. He was yeah. hung in effigy. It, the, he pulled into a parking lot, and there, there he was. And I'm, and you, literally submitted a resignation letter to right. the AD who hired you in the '90s. I mean, that's that. Those parallels are pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's, uh, it's they're great. Uh, I I love that, and and that's why the programs are very similar. Uh, especially, you know, what uh, Dean did, and I think we were, we've been able to do it. You have tremendous loyalty from your players and your former players. Uh, you know, it's a, a family. You hear that word tossed around a lot. It's not necessarily appropriate for everybody, but it is for our two programs. And uh, he's, he did that, and I admired that. And that's what we tried to do. It's called... Uh, not having a team, but having a program. If you have a program, you develop a culture. And so I'm not saying our cultures are exactly the same, but we both have really good cultures. And, uh, and that uh, cultures based on values and organizations that are based on values stand the test of time.